In this video, we will cover how to add an application configuration for a pole type sprayer. From the home screen, press the setup button. Application. Under configuration, press add. You can choose single product application or multiple. Today, we'll, we will be utilizing a single product application. Press next. You can utilize an existing vehicle that's set up in your display or you can create a new. We can do self-belt sprayer, self-belt spreader, ATV or pickup truck. Today we're going to do a tractor. Next, our tractor is going to be a John Deere. Press accept. The model is going to be an 8300. Press accept. Press next and finish. For implement, we'll press new. Select implement attachment method. It's going to be a rear drawbar. We could also utilize a rear three point hitch, front drawbar, or front three point hitch. If it was a spinner spreader, we would check mark this right here. Press next. Enter the swath width. My sprayer is 75 feet. Press accept. Next, number of boom sections. I have five boom sections. Press next. It'll ask you to set the section widths for each section of your boom. It will default to your swath width divided by the number of sections that you have. So 75 feet divided by five is 15. If I'd like to change it, I can select it and press the calculator. And when I'm done making my change, I can press accept. Press next. Enter the hitch to application point. The distance is actually going to be 18 feet. Press next. If I'm utilizing a NORAC or optric sensor, I would check mark these now. Today we will not be utilizing these. Press next. Enter an implement name. My implement name is going to be best way sprayer press accept and finish operating mode since I will be controlling this with my direct command system I will utilize rate logging control if I was only logging area I would select the bottom one press next Select controller, press new. I will be utilizing a direct command system. You could also set it up for serial control or flow meter logging. And we will be utilizing the liquid product control module. These other options down here are for granular application. Press next. I need to enter in my pulses per gallon. This number comes off the flow meter. My pulses per gallon is 72. Press accept. Press next. Suggested controller name is direct liquid. If I'd like to change it, I can use the keyboard. Press finish. Container, I will press new. The capacity is going to be 1,000 gallons. Press accept. Enter my gallons. Press next. Container name is going to be tank. Accept. And it's located on the implement. Press finish. My primary ground speed source is GPS and my backup is radar. Press next. And now I have my suggested name for configuration. Deer 8300 Best Way Sprayer Direct Liquid. Press finish. And I've now created a configuration for my pole type sprayer in the Ag Leader Insight display. For more information on Ag Leader products, please refer to your local Ag Leader dealer, other tutorial videos on the Ag Leader YouTube channel, or the Ag Leader knowledge base at support.agleader.com. To find an Ag Leader dealer in your area, please visit our website at www.agleader.com and use the Find a Dealer feature located on the homepage.